Nice elevator. None. Elton Fay has practiced law in Columbia for 34 years. I see lots of parking places. Nobody parking in them. He owns a law office next door to the garage, so he attended initial meetings about it. And at those meetings, uh, they showed us plans for what I would consider a reasonable size parking garage. In 2001, Columbia commissioned a transportation consultant, Trans Systems Corporation, to evaluate the need for additional parking downtown. Trans Systems' final recommendation was to add 300 spaces north of Broadway to meet projected future demands and aid in accommodating special events. This would increase the number of empty spaces downtown during peak times and leave an excess available to handle special events. But the garage the city eventually built was 703 spaces, more than double Trans Systems' recommendation. The cost with interest will be $21 million. The city won't pay it off in full until 2034. It makes it easy to tell people where our office and building is. We just say, look at the, you know, the huge garage downtown that doesn't look like it's, you know, supposed to be there, and we are right west of there. Tony St. Romain has been the assistant city manager since 2006, long before construction on the garage began. I don't think that garage has 700 spaces in it, it does it? It has 703 spaces. Is it 703 spaces? 703 spaces. Uh, you know, I'm not even familiar with the study. 703 spaces. Of those, 520 called permit spaces are for rent by anyone who wants to pay $50 to $60 a month. Right now, 139 of those spaces, or about 27%, are occupied. Of those, 36 are city vehicles parked on the roof. City employees use 59 more spaces, but get to park for free as part of their benefits package. Eight additional people transferred from other garages. So the number of new monthly customers for the city, thanks to this garage, is 36. I personally think the 5th and Walnut Garage was uh, overbuilt. Uh, I think uh, it, it had, had it been a 300 uh, space garage, we probably would you wouldn't be interviewing me right now. Mayor Bob McDavid was elected after the decision to construct the fifth and Walnut parking garage was made. There are uh, five members of the council, including myself, who were not part of that decision process. I believe the process was flawed. Um, uh, we committed $16 million to a, a garage that uh, is going to lose money for some time. So who is responsible for the fact that the garage is more than double the recommendation? Elton Fay blames John Glasscott, director of public works, for the size of the garage. I, that would be enough in most places to cause somebody to lose their job over a mistake like this one. And that's what it is, a mistake. But the mayor says it's too soon to judge failure or success. You know, if we end up with uh, five high-rise office buildings surrounding that fifth and walnut garage, the people that made the decision will look brilliant. Uh, if, however, it continues to stand solitary and alone, monopolizing the skyline in 20 years, they won't look so good. Right now, I think a lot of people are doubting uh, whether those spaces will ever fill up. But I think if you look at past history uh, of all the other garages we built downtown, uh, as future development comes, there's going to be an additional need for parking. Future needs that might be met by another parking garage to be built on Short Street. Brian Johnson, KOMU 8 News, Columbia.